Well, what's up guys welcome back to my channel it is your girl angie monique and for today's video i told you guys but you can already tell by the title but i did get the rest of my products in from the lys beauty line that's clean black owned beauty brand sold at sephora so if you watched my last video my spring vibes video i used the shade dn6 i want to say yeah dn6 but I felt that shade was a little off. So I went back on Sephora and I got the shade DG7. So I got this um, foundation. Um, and then I also picked it. Eh. <laughs> and I also picked up the LYS Beauty No Limits Matte Bronzer. As well as the LYS Beauty Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder. So, so I got these two new products. Um, the other products that she came out with was a blush and i'm not really big on blush so i didn't feel the need to grab that so these are the products that i'm going to be trying out in today's video um again if you watch my spring vibes video you will know that i do love the finish of the foundation so i'm hoping that this shade just works better for me so i'm going to go ahead and do my brows and then i'm going to come back and we're going to jump right into the base application Okay, you guys, so let's just jump right into it. As you can tell by the intro, we are playing in the LYS Beauty products that I purchased from Sephora. So, I picked up the shade DG7. So, we're going to see if this works best for me um, other than the last shade that I utilized. So, again, this is what the bottle looks like. I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. I'm just going to use my Elf Jelly Pop Dew Primer. So primer is on. Um, so let's just go ahead and shake this up a little bit. And let's see if this color is going to work better. All right. already liking how it looks thus far let's not get carried away let's go ahead and blend this out yes yes i feel like this color is so much better and for some reason like oh that's my key this says it's golden so i'm guessing the g stands for golden that's usually what that means and then like the previous one that i used had it was in so it was neutral but i didn't get that like i definitely think this is a much better much better color than the last one and again it is medium coverage so i'm fine with just this amount of foundation on my face um i think it again i love the finish of it i think it has a nice natural finish um so i'm loving that still so yes like i said loving the foundation um like i said the formula of it i just needed another color and this is the color so dg7 if you use me as a shade reference dg7 is the shade that you need so utilize that all right let's jump into concealer they don't have a concealer so i'm just going to use my cover fx power play concealer in the shade nd2 
Okay. So let's try the Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder. I picked mine up in the shade Brilliance Banana. So let's test this out. This is what her packaging looks like. And this is the banana shade. So I'm gonna grab a brush. And let's set this. Okay. I'm not mad at this um at this color. I'm just trying to make sure everything is set. Alright. So that is the triple fix setting powder. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face. Okay, so this is what the face is looking like with just setting powder. Um, so, just to recap thus far, I used the foundation as well as the Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder. And again, I used the shade Banana. So, alright, let's go ahead and bronze. She does have a No Limits Matte Bronzer. This is what, I didn't show you the packaging um, of it in the box. But this is what the box looks like. So they all have that triangular shape and just like the setting powder has that right there and this is in the shade strength dark so we're going to use this to bronze okay so we're going to bronze i got a clean bronzing brush um so again we're going to use the shade dark in the shade yeah it's dark but the name of it is called strength so it's gonna tap in it like that mm. Mm. okay okay Like that? Come on, give some, give us some more bronzers. You can never have, in my opinion, <laughs> you can never have too many bronzers. Never, especially for women of color. Never. Okay. I'm loving this bronzer. I'm loving the skin just in general. I think it looks so natural, fresh face, like not too much makeup, just nice and natural. And this is just the look that I love, period. Like, I feel like that's just a classic look. You can never go wrong with just a nice, natural face. Like, just give us natural face. So, but of course, like with makeup. But you still... Like you just still look natural. You still look like yourself. Okay? Okay. So, I am going to finish the rest of my face and then I'll come right back with my final thoughts on these products. Okay, you guys. So, this is the final look. I kept it super natural um, just because I feel like this is a natural foundation. So, I just want to keep this look super natural. No lashes or anything like that. Um, so, I do want to go over a few specs of this product. 
Okay, so a few specs on this foundation. It said to say luxury. Uh, luxurious luxuriously skin skincare infused serum foundation with buildable light to medium coverage in an array of shades so it does come in 35 shades again I think the best shade for me is DG7 which is I'm not mad at it like I love 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 this color for myself um the coverage is medium the finish is natural I totally agree formulation is liquid this product is vegan, gluten-free, cruelty-free, and comes in recyclable packaging, which is good. What else you need to know? This formula will satisfy your skincare and foundation fix at the same time. Again, it's formulated with hyaluronic acid and turmeric. This customizable, clean foundation reduces the look of dark spots, pores, imperfections, and fine lines while highlighting your skin's natural radiance. 100% agree. Like... This is going to be that go-to foundation um, for the summer. Like, I feel like it's it gives you that just lightweight um, base. Um, I know typically, like, I'm oily. I'm an oily combination type of girl. But in the summertime, I usually tend to go for matte foundations. But I feel like with this foundation, if you prep your skin as far as using a matte primer and prep um, as far as setting your foundation really well with your powders, I think this will be a really, really good foundation for the summertime. Just because it's not too thick, um, it's not cakey or anything like that. It's just a nice, natural foundation. So I really, really love this foundation. And I, I'm, I think I'm going to be picking this up a lot doing during this spring and summer um again love the color that i picked the second time around um as well as the setting powder and the bronzer y'all i was very very shocked at the bronzer like the translucent setting powder i really really like this like it set my concealer just fine it didn't change the color of it or anything like that um and of course you saw me go over that with my all over setting powder but i like this um i think this is really really good again i love the color of it it's translucent so um yeah it did like i said it didn't change the color of my concealer it just set it and that's what i needed to do um and then the bronzer this right here is a banger like this is really really good um I will leave the prices for these products down in the description box below as well. But again, this is what the bronzer looks like. And as a brown skin girl, you can never have too many bronzers, in my opinion. So, yes, I really, really like this shade. Strength was definitely the perfect shade for me as far as the bronzer goes. So, love, love, love this. And it is a matte bronzer, so there's no shimmer in it at all. So... Once again, you guys, this is the completed look using the new LYS Black on Clean Beauty brand sold at Sephora. So you guys, check them out. Also, check her Instagram out. I know she's close to getting to 10,000 followers. So if she has not already gotten there, let's get her there. Um, so go to LYS Beauty Official. I believe that's it. I will leave it down in the description box below. So be sure to check her out on Instagram as well as support your black queens. As always, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.